lurking logoist behind a very simple sign, a squad of public works pros perform one of the most visible tasks in Clark County. We have about 110,000 signs that we're responsible to maintain. Almost never stopping, they yield the name, speed limit, and other vital information on every single piece of traffic signage across the county, from Laughlin to Mesquite. Well, right now we're in the process of making the signs to change to Sammy Davis Jr. Drive, from approximately uh, Frank Sinatra to Sahara. On this day, the crew devoted their time to crafting a new street sign, a long-deserved honor for a member of the Rat Pack, Sammy Davis Jr. The legendary performer will soon join two of his pallies as a section of Industrial Road will be renamed Sammy Davis Jr. Drive during a dedication ceremony in September. There we go. A computer generates the correct spacing and spelling of the eight-foot-long banners. A reflective coating lies beneath the green surface, and both sheets are stretched onto illuminated street name signs that hang above each Clark County traffic signal. Much of their work involves replacing damaged, graffitied, or weathered signs, and that must be done immediately. Uh, first responders, ambulances, uh, uh, fire department, police, they need to be able to know what the street is. It's great after 25 long years uh, since his passing. Um, I just felt that his name just went out of the spotlight, and I'm just so happy that Las Vegas, you know, all those years, has been behind him with the chibi shows and all. You know, and just after 25 long years, we're going to name a street after him where he had sex with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, and it's great to bring him back together again. Quartet of county commissioners and member of the late performer's family helped unveil a new street sign to honor the man known as the world's greatest entertainer, Mr. Sammy Davis Jr. I've got you under my skin. Sammy Davis Jr. is now reunited with a pair of his Rat Pack crew, Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra, with streets named in their honor. All three intersect just a few steps away from the famous strip properties where they once performed. You may be my leader, but I'm going to punch you right in your mouth. Even though Sammy J. Davis Jr. had already gone a quarter of a century, the good times of the Rat Pack engendered for this city are still fondly remembered. We owe a debt of gratitude to him. He was the first of the three leaders of the pack, Frank, Sammy, and of course, Dean Martin, to pass away. Unfortunately, he was the last of the three to have a street named after him. But the heir of Sammy Davis Jr. and the Rat Pack, or the Summit, as Sinatra called their group, seemed to have a special zest. It was the early 1960s, and the shows billed as the Summit at the Sands created a new standard for cool, hip, freeform performances. I've been back there so long, I was about to call some troops. Businessman Peter Feinstein and Josh Elliott helped fund and raise awareness to change Industrial Road to Sammy Davis Jr. Drive, which was approved earlier by the Board of County Commissioners. Rat Pack fans and celebrities, including Eric Estrada, Clint Holmes, and Antonio Fargus were on hand to remember the remarkable life and talents of Sammy Davis Jr., who remains an American icon even a quarter century after his death. I grew up with the Rat Pack and remember as a child sitting spellbound watching television while Sammy Davis Jr. tap danced. It was my very favorite thing to watch on television. Two, three. This is an amazing day and to be able to just say thank you, Sammy. I think we all should just pause and say thank you, Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. It's not neon, but Clark County Public Works personnel put the late performer's name up in lights again 
officially changing the nearly two mile stretch of what was once industrial road. And Sammy's son Manny urged us all to sing and dance. And to all the fans around the world, I want to say thank you. And from my father to you all, I want to say keep dancing as if no one and everybody's watching. Thank you for keeping my dad's legacy alive. I feel honored to be a part of today's street naming ceremony because it's the ultimate show of honor and respect for the one man who truly personified the spirit of what Las Vegas is, a place where your wildest dreams can come true. Las Vegas on the map, and now the Rat Pack is actually on the map. But, um, 25 years after it. his death, a legendary <laughs> entertainer, Sammy Davis Jr., finally received a street named after him. Sammy Davis Jr. Drive was Ooh. unveiled today. Yes. It intersects yes. Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin Drives. The ceremonious occasion has been in the making for years. The county approved the name change four years ago, but private funding was needed to finally make the 1.8 mile stretch of road oh. official. Action News caught up with Sammy's son, Manny, to talk about this momentous occasion. Uh, it, it's important for me and my family because it's, it just lets us know that, that the city still loves my father and the world is still looking for him to make you know, his presence known once again. And so this is a, this is a, a springboard for the estate in order to go forward and, and bring his name back out into the light like it's supposed to be. And everybody kept telling me I look just like my father and uh, they're just they're giggling and saying thank you a whole lot because that's the number one thing I hear the most. But um, it was just su such an outpour of love. It was very much appreciated. Wow. Sammy yes. Davis Jr. certainly has uh, been an incredible icon here in our city, and it's great to see him receive the recognition he deserves. Finally, it's been 25 years yeah. since he passed away yeah. to finally well, do this. It took so long. Yes. A wow. lot of funding, $30,000 about in order to do this, and they had to redo the streets, you right. know, and the businesses on that street, but finally it happened. And apparently Manny is watching us right now, so hey. hello. Yeah. Thank hello, you so Manny. much for watching. Thank you. Jonathan Scott, too, who's his right. friend. Yeah.